Plenary mode, the serious. Great conjunction. Every twenty years, in a very rare conjunction, which outer planets Jupiter and Saturn in the closest approach, which is very rare. That rare event is called the Great Conjunction. Hey Saturn, how are you doing today? I am okay. I am dressed in thick, warm, galactic clothes. It's been 20 years. We've been close together. Now let's do it again. Oh, set, set. Our bond is the best conjunction ever. So, what do you say? We'll be a Christmas dual star together. <sighs> Whatever. Wow! Jupiter and Saturn had joined and formed a Christmas star. Isn't it pretty? It really is, Ichan. They mostly conjunct in Aquarius. Now they're in Capricorn. In fact, once every 20 years, Jupiter and Saturn conjunct every zodiac constellation such as Taurus and Aquarius. In 2020, they conjunct in Capricorn, the sea goat. After all, the planet Jupiter is named after the Roman god of the sky, lightning, thunder, and justice, and law, and the king of the Roman gods. The famous ringed planet Saturn is named after Jupiter's father, the Roman god of agricultural, harvest, farming, vegetation, and time. It's true that two largest planets in the solar system are named after important Roman gods. Jupiter symbolizes growth, expansion, and prosperity, while Saturn symbolizes order, despicable, and restriction. When they conjunct together, symbolizing reset, the great chronogator, markers of time and unpredictability. It is the rarest planetary conjunction in astronomical history. Jupiter and Saturn's conjunction was so rare and grand, so this means they are the grand corona crater, the great time markers. Anywho, let's have a jubilee feast, Vichon. Yeah, me too. Jupiter and Saturn have become a Christmas star. We are rehearsing for a stellar play, The Nutcracker and the Four Realms. I'm playing the Nutcracker Soldier, and you are Clara. Yeah, I was cast to play that part of the heroine. I know, right? This play is going to be the best ever!